Ever wonder why some Pokemon teams just click while others fall flat? When it comes to building a winning Pokemon team, the idea of role potential is absolutely critical. Role potential is the unique strengths or functions each Pokemon can bring to your team. This is based on their stats, their move pool, and their abilities, and it's the potential a Pokemon has to fill specific roles during battle. For example, a Pokemon can be a fast sweeper, a wall, or a support Pokemon that helps to heal or protect your team from enemies. Understanding role potential can make or break your strategy because you want to build a team that is well balanced in the roles that each Pokemon has. This allows your team to work like a well-oiled machine because each role will complement the others. So for example, you could have a slow bulky Pokemon that chips away at the opponent's team over time, but this Pokemon might not be fast enough to get damage off in time before the opponent uses a fast sweeper to blast through your team. Recognizing when another role could complement a Pokemon on your team is very important and will allow your team to stay well balanced. So in this example, a fast Pokemon like Sneasler fulfilling the role as a disruptor wall breaker complements your slow bulky Pokemon by being able to stop the enemy entirely with fake out, status, or a knockout. Basically, role potential will help you see beyond just typings and power and will help you to focus on how each Pokemon's role fits into the overall strategy of the team, which will help you win more games consistently. So sit back and by the end of this video, you will have a deep understanding of how to use role potential to make a team that's more than just powerful and strategically unstoppable. Let's dive in. So the first thing we need to talk about is what roles are, how they play into your team, and how they contribute to your overall strategy. In VGC, there are many roles with the most common ones being sweeper, tank, wall support and wall breaker so we'll focus on those for now to start a sweeper is a pokemon that is going to be your heavy hitter and they typically have high speed with either high attack or special attack for example a popular sweeper right now is dragapult it has an absurdly high speed stat and you can give it items like choice ban allowing it to hit extremely hard with its moves and on top of that its ability clear body which keeps the opponent from lowering your stats and the fact that it's a ghost type pokemon making it nearly impossible to stop immediately in most situations this is just one example of a sweeper pokemon and there are many more to use that can help you protect our next role on the list, and that's the tank. A tank Pokemon is a Pokemon that can tank hits while dishing out good damage, and you will recognize them by their typically good HP stats and defense and special defense. They aren't as durable as walls, but can take a few hits while putting pressure on the opponent. A good example of a well-balanced tank would be a Pokemon like Archeladon, and it fits this role very well, and that leads us into our next role, which is the wall. Walls are Pokemon that are the defensive backbone of your team. They are designed to absorb attacks, heal themselves, and wear down the opponent with chip damage or some kind of status infliction. They will typically have recovery moves like Roost or Recover making them really hard to take down. Think of Pokemon like Corviknight or Garganackle. Both of these Pokemon have HP recovery moves with status moves designed to wear the opponent down over time, which will support the rest of the team to fulfill the overall team strategy. Now the next role is going to be your support Pokemon. Support Pokemon will typically add utility to your team by using moves that put up hazards like Toxic Spikes, healing moves like Heal Bell, or status moves like Thunder Wave to slow down the opponent. These Pokemon usually don't deal a lot of damage, but are vital to most team success, and they help you to manage the battlefield much better. A good example of a Pokemon like this are Pelipper or Grimmsnarl. Both of these Pokemon are primarily used for utility of some kind that supports the teams they are on. And finally, we have the Wall Breaker. These Pokemon punch through defensive walls and tanks with really high special attack or physical attack, and they are really great at wearing down bulky opponents that your sweepers might have trouble taking down. A good example of a Pokemon like this is Sneasler. This Pokemon is extremely fast with high attacking power, allowing it to help out sweepers like Dragapult to break down bulky walls. Now let's talk about why role potential matters. Role potential helps you to predict matchups, cover weaknesses, and create synergies. At the 2025 Lil Regional Championships, Nils Dunlop's team is a great example of a team that's easily able to predict its matchups because of the clear roles that each Pokemon plays on the team. These roles all synergize very well with each other, and each Pokemon covers a weakness to another Pokemon's type. Some Pokemon can even cover multiple roles, like Corviknight being a wall tank and Ndidi Mel being a sweeper disruptor. When you are in your builder, you will be able to easily see the roles that Pokemon can play by looking at their stats, abilities, typings, and move pool. So for example, if we take a look at a Pokemon like Tyranitar, we can easily identify this Pokemon as a tank because of its decent HP, defense, and special defense stats, and its high attack stat. These stats allow Tyranitar to take hits effectively and dish out good damage in return. Another Pokemon we can easily identify roles on is Basculegion. This Pokemon has a high attack stat and decent speed, and because of its ability Swift Swim, which doubles its speed stat, we can identify Basculegion as a sweeper that you 
you could potentially use to also disrupt with moves like Confuse Ray, although that's not highly suggested. So here you can see how important move pulls and abilities are to identify a Pokemon's potential roles and how sometimes stats aren't completely enough to determine a Pokemon's role. If you've seen my roll compression video, you will know that some Pokemon can play multiple different roles at the same time. So a Pokemon like Incineroar can be used as a utility disruptor support tank all at the same time and do each role effectively for the team. This allows not only Incineroar to be adaptable, but also spread some of that adaptability to the rest of the team, allowing you to handle tough situations much easier. And this is because Incineroar can switch its roles based on the team's needs. This type of adaptability can and will keep your opponent guessing at what's next, causing them to make more mistakes and giving you an advantage. Now, if we take a look at a solid core like Golden Go, Garchomp, and Incineroar, we have a sweeper, a setup sweeper, and a good utility support Pokemon. And because we know these roles, we can identify where our team has holes. A core like this can really use other roles on the team that complement its sweepers and the Incineroar. So another support Pokemon like Murkrow with Tailwind can give this team some speed control and complement the decently fast sweepers while also allowing Incineroar to pivot successfully without taking much damage. Redirection support with something like Mouseholt can also be useful here to protect your team from powerful single target attacks while also playing the role as a wall breaker with Population Bomb. Also, having a wall on the team can be very effective with something like maybe Corviknight with Roost. A team composition like this should have no problem excelling in most matchups. You will also notice that while I focus here on specific roles for each Pokemon, it's important to pay attention to the synergy and balance between the roles as well. So here you can see that we have a great offensive and defensive balance on the entire team, which allows us to handle the most difficult situations. When you are building a team and you pick a Pokemon you like, also ask yourself what role does this Pokemon play on my team? And this will make the team building process much easier. In certain meta games, you will want to focus on adjusting your roles to fit into that metagame. So for example, in a metagame where there are a lot of physical attackers, you might want to have more physically defensive walls and tanks. You can tweak your roles on your team to fit into the metagame as well. So if you have a wall that you originally built for physical attackers, but the metagame shifts to being more special attackers, you can adjust the stats of that wall so that it takes special attacks much better. Always be ready to adapt. A lot of your team's strengths will come from your ability to be flexible. So we've covered the importance of understanding role potential and how it can help you build a more balanced and adaptable team where we talked about key roles like sweepers, tanks, walls, support, and wall breakers. I encourage you to start using these concepts in your team building so that you can start winning battles straight from the builder. Please leave a comment down below about your team building strategies. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these and hit that notification bell for future videos. I'm Zim and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now, peace.